Let's take a closer look at Vario Flash B. It's a definite must-have for safe filling of beer, no matter if you are a craft brewer or a global player. With me here today are Stefan Höller and Roland Feilner. Welcome. Mr. Höller, we are talking about a thermal product treatment. Doesn't this involve high energy consumption? In comparison to other thermal processes, the flash pasteurizer is very efficient. So we are talking about 90% heat recovery rate or more. That's state of the art. So as long as the line is running, everything's fine. But uh, what about interruptions in production? That's exactly a problem. So during a breakdown on the filling line, for example, the flash pasteurizer is circulating with water. So we are heating up and cooling down the water all the time, which is not really efficient. That's why a lot of our customers would like to shut down the pasteurizer, but uh, this we cannot recommend uh, as you are losing sterility in the machine. That's exactly the point where our ecohygienic sleep mode comes into. So obviously we are shutting down the machine, but we keep the final heater with the secondary heating circuit in a hot standby condition. Uh, that uh, means we overheat the final heater and we are creating a thermal barrier between the unsterile part and the sterile part of the machine. For example, during one hour of a production stop on a 450 hectoliter machine, we can save about up to 250 kilowatts of thermal energy without any microbiological risk. Mm -hmm. Mr. Feiner, uh, pasteurizing is a known procedure. So what's special about the solution Kronos has to offer? The goal for each thermal process is to lower the thermal impact for the beer quality. So this means a tunnel pasteurizer with uh, a warm temperature, uh, maybe 65 degrees, and uh, a long heat holding time is uh, influencing the beer quality more than a flash pasteurizer with a uh, short heat holding time and a higher temperature. Uh, this brings me to our uh, patented express pasteurization. Here we higher the temperature over 80 degrees and lower the, the time for the heat holding uh, down to a few seconds. So uh, the comparison between a 30 second and uh, express pasteurizing is between four and 10 seconds um, reduces the impact to the beer quality once more. So we're speaking about uh, less uh, building of aging carbonyls, uh, less building of heating indicators, and also the, the increase in the, in the color during the pasteurization process is reduced. And this helps us to offer our customer uh, a machine with uh, influencing the beer quality not so much. And uh, a special uh, other point is for wheat beer and also all the craft beers were all unfiltrated. Um, the flash pasteurizer over 80 degrees um, allows us to crack the proteins, they agglomerate, and uh, the result is a, a really nice uh, haze stability for this unfiltrated beer. So uh, quality is better and haze quality is also uh, much more better than with a tunnel or with a standard flash pasteurization process. So we have less energy consumption, better quality and better taste. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.